Now then, um, Nigel's chauffeured me up to uh, to Honister and he's coming out for a couple of nights wild camping. We're heading up to Dub's Hut, uh, the Bothy, uh, tonight. We've got some coal and some sticks. Uh, Nigel's already eaten, I've got some couscous to do. And then tomorrow night we're heading out onto the, the hills behind uh, Dub's Hut. Um, haystacks in the region, uh, thereabouts, and just having a wander about. And uh, then I'm going to be using my trail star, so it's the first, first time I'm going to be pitching that. Um, it's blowing a gale, we can't uh, see our breath in front of our face, it's not that cold, but it is windy. And um, we're just going to make a run up there now and uh, yeah, get sorted out. Stay tuned. Yorkshire, land of the gods. Right then, it's half past seven. There's Nigel, say hello Nigel. Hello. Um, we've made it here in the dark, a little bit of ice on top and we can see our breath in front of our face. And there's lights in the bothy, so we're just going to go in there now, this is Dub's hut. And, uh, and see who we're going to be meeting this evening, who knows. Brown, yeah. crispy. Yeah. Hey, I tell you what, that don't look bad. <laughs> this is how this is how gullible I am, right here. What's this? Yeah. Right then, we'll be some royal lazy bleeders this morning, and uh, we're only getting away from Dub's Hut about 11 o'clock. Uh, Nigel has got shown interest in going onto the lawn scale, so we're just going to bob down there and then get up onto the uh, onto the, the higher ground to, and maybe head towards Haystacks. We'll have to see. Um, good night last night. We're up uh, till the early hours of the morning. Tea total again, dry January. Um, but no, it was a good day. Good set of lads. There's a lesser spotted Nigel. <laughs> right, avid followers of Laidlaw Lunatic Tours uh, .co UK and Lake District Brown Bothy Hunting would remember this particular crossing. So on the Warn Scale Bothy video, which is one of the first videos I did, I fannied on like you wouldn't believe trying to cross this street. Now Nigel knows how bad I am at crossing water. So I'm going to amaze him now, amaze him with my new skills. Watch this. It's usually a 10 minute argument just to get over that bit with him. And I whooped it. Yeah. Without any thought for my own safety, I got across. I mean, watching as high as it was last time, but yeah, evolution, you see, you've got to do it, you've got to give it a go. Let's go, come on. So Nigel and I have just got to Warn Scale. It's not very far from Dubs. First time Nigel's been here. <laughs> I can't get through with my rucksack. <laughs> <laughs> I barely got through. I don't know how I'm going to get through that. My rucksack got stuck. See, fly tip in a flask.
Lovely gale. So um, we decided to do this with a trail star. How much of my kit are you going to borrow now, Nigel? As in a permanent borrow? Oh, permanent borrow. <laughs> you, 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 we'll swap bags, I think. Well, I've, got, need, I've, I've got one of them. You won't need that anymore. No, I'm going to change to a bum bag. <laughs> so Nigel's fallen in love with this. It's heavy, though. It does look pretty heavy. Nigel, Nigel likes my poles. He also likes my inner. It works. Yeah, well, who suggested the box? He's trialled them, so he loves them. Yeah, so in us up, we're going to get comfortable. And here's our view. So you can actually see, you can see Bob's up as I sort of stand. It's literally over there. Um, this is the only sheltered spot we could find on our little exploration. We haven't gone far today, but we never really planned on it. But yeah, the... So this is actually Nigel's um, trail star because he's um, seam sealed his and I haven't done mine yet. I will do it. So my trail star canopy is in my Bergen and his new inner, which he used to sleeping in the Bothy last night, is still in his Bergen. So we're going to be all hunkered down in here, the pair of us, instead of having two setups. Um, he's happy that I'm not snoring as much these days, so we might as well, aren't we? Happy. Aren't we nice? Oh yes. Right, we'll give you a tour around the inner of the um, the trail star. So this is the Ook Works, and it's a, a two-person uh, piece of kit. So, I mean, both Nigel and I are fully sort of legged out, probably the wrong way around. And then that's the door. So you can have a look at the actual size of the porch there. So you can put your, your two cup kits, you know, probably leave the boots outside, depending on... I mean, the wind's coming from behind us, so the, the boots aren't going to get wet. But you look at the rigging, so your, your pole goes straight through and then it goes straight through the bottom as well. So when you're actually putting the, the trail star up, you can pin three points down. Then when you're going to go in there with, I mean this is how Nigel showed me to erect it, there's probably a couple of ways to do it. But you can also then put the pole straight through this when it's collapsed rig up the tarp on the outside then you've just literally got to orientate the door around and just put all your your little hooks and what have you out the um the corners they drag out to the the pegs on the outside it's a great bit of kit isn't it it's lovely it's loads of room for two people this is perfect yeah brilliant really really pleased with it uh, but when it's in its pack size it's the same size as the tarp so unless there's two of you using it it's, it's pointless, you, you don't need it. Um, first time we've had it up. Shit hot, isn't it? It is. Yeah, brilliant. We've had two cups of coffee, uh, which is enough, and um, we've got about an hour walk back to the car, and we're going to go to um, 
I've had a nice breakfast. I'm going to try and eat healthy now for scrambled eggs on toast. Boring, boring, boring. Um, but it's been a great night. Nigel stayed warm enough in his little, um, you know, summer sleeping bag with a few extra layers, uh, and I was toasty warm. Trail Star stayed up. Uh, the inn is fantastic. Absolutely loving that. Um, great night. Really great night. Loved it. You can't see much today. We've probably got. 500 meters visibility. We can see the track they're heading down on. There's no problems in navigation. Everything's absolutely fantastic. Really, really good weekend with a, a really good mate of mine. So, nice one.